Hello XL, you're watching Altec 2K Gaming. In this one I'm going to explain the infinite hunger fight in under two and a half minutes. This fight is definitely more frustrating than it is dangerous. That said, do not underestimate it or you will die. Really, these tentacles are the only things that do kill me in this fight and it's always because I stand too close to them. There is another skill marked with obliterate that is extremely dangerous. The saving grace is he channels this skill for so long that if you actually get hit by it, you're actually watching YouTube on your other screen. When he shouts slaughter, he's about to do something akin to a shield charge. This skill does more damage the further he charges. I should mention that this boss deals physical and chaos damage, so you do want to resist those when fighting him. When he shouts melt, he's about to project vomit onto you. How delightful. There is a second variant of this that leaves a toxic ground behind it. Stand in this and you'll be slowed as well as taking physical and chaos damage. At several points throughout the fight, the tide will start to come in. You can delay the tide by going further up the arena, but it does reach the end of the arena and will pull you in eventually regardless unless you kill the boss before it does it the first time. The first time I ended up in this arena, I was as confused as hell. I actually ended up waiting on this island for about two minutes for something to happen, and nothing did. However, eventually you'll notice that there is a flow to the tide of sewage. Now staying in this area for any period of time is incredibly dangerous, and that's because over time you start to build up stacks of corrosive hunger. These are permanent and last till the end of the fight. Each stack reduces your physical damage reduction and evasion by 1%. Whilst you are in the digestive acid, you will take a dot and you'll have reduced movement speed at 8% per stack. Maximum stacks 10, so 80% reduced movement speed. Once you do reach a load of craters, you know the exit portal is really close by. Exit to go back to the main fight. When he yells hunger, He's about to go into the ground into his tentacle form. In this form, he is invincible, you cannot target him. He will come out of this phase if either you jump over him with a movement skill, or the phase just expires through natural time, so you can actually run away from him. The problem with getting close to him is he starts to do massive amounts of damage and will kill you. When he does come out of the ground, he also does a massive slam, which can also kill you. If you are going to let this phase expire, then you do need to be quite tactical in where you run. As it moves around, it leaves a trail of corrosive ground behind him, which will deal damage to you. And that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.